Thomas and the Breakdown Train. Every day, the fat director came to the station to catch his train, and he always nodded to Thomas and said, Um, morning, Thomas. There were lots of trucks in the yard, and Thomas had to push and pull them into their right places. He worked hard. He knew now that he wasn't so clever as he'd thought, and he wanted to learn all about trucks so as to be a really useful engine. But on the siding, by themselves, were some trucks that Thomas was told he mustn't touch. There was a small coach, some flat trucks, and two queer things his driver called cranes. That's the breakdown train, Thomas, and when there's an accident, the workmen get into the coach and the engine takes them quickly to help the hurt people and to clear and mend the line. The cranes are for lifting heavy things like engines and coaches and trucks. One day, Thomas heard an engine whistling. <coughs> Help! Help! And a goods train came rushing through very fast. <coughs> Help! Help! The engine, a new one called James, was frightened. His brake blocks were on fire and smoke and sparks streamed out on each side. They're pushing me! They're pushing me! Those silly trucks are pushing me! And the trucks just laughed. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! Poor James disappeared under the bridge, whistling for help. Help! Help! Thomas the tank engine didn't know what to do. Oh, I'd like to teach those trucks a lesson. Presently, a man came, running. James is off the line. The breakdown train, quickly. So Thomas was coupled on. The workmen jumped into their coach and off they went. Thomas worked his hardest. <laughs> faster, faster. <laughs> faster, faster. <laughs> oh, bother those trucks and their tricks. I only hope poor James isn't hurt. <laughs> faster, faster. <laughs> they found James and the trucks at a bend in the line. The brake van and the last few trucks were on the rails, but the front ones were piled in a heap. James was in a field with a cow looking at him, and his driver and fireman were feeling him all over to see if he was hurt. Never mind, James. It wasn't your fault. We always said your wooden brakes was no good. Thomas pushed the breakdown train alongside. Then he pulled the unhurt trucks out of the way. Oh, oh, oh dear, oh, don't hurt us, Thomas. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh, don't hurt us, Thomas. It serves you right. It serves you right. <laughs> he puffed backwards and forwards all the afternoon, and he scolded the trucks. This will teach you a lesson. This will teach you a lesson and the trucks answered in groany, creaky sort of voices. Yes, it will. Oh, ah, yes, it will. Ooh, oh, oh. Then, when they put James back onto the rails, he tried to move, but he couldn't. So Thomas helped him back to the shed. The fat director was waiting anxiously for them. Well, Thomas, I've heard all about it and I'm very pleased with you. You're a really useful engine. James shall have some proper brakes and a new coat of paint, and you, well, you shall have a branch line all to yourself. Oh, sir, thank you. Now Thomas is as happy as can be. He has a branch line all to himself and puffs proudly backwards and forwards with two coaches all day. 
He's never lonely, because there's always some engine to talk to at the junction. Edward and Henry stop there quite often and tell him the news. Gordon is always in a hurry and doesn't stop, but he never forgets to say to Thomas, <laughs> and Thomas in return always whistles, <laughs>